Hi, my name is Russell Stannard. This is teachertrainingvideos.com and this quick set of videos is going to concentrate on a website called videoforall.eu. This website provides a collection of around 50 different ways, 50 different practices of how language teachers can use video in the classroom. So if you're a language teacher and you're looking for ideas about how you could use video, then this could be an excellent resource for you. Along with each of the example videos, there's also a PDF file that provides you with more information about how you could use the video in different contexts and at different levels. So it's a really useful resource for language teachers. Um, so I'll quickly show you how to find the practices. There's also a really nice repository. The repository provides links to articles about video, to PhD thesis about video, to websites about video, etc. So the repository can be very useful for teachers or anyone really who's researching the area of video and wants to know more, wants to read more, etc. And that's really nicely organized and a really useful resource. There's also a few booklets that have been provided by the team from Video for All and I'll point those out to you to, to very useful uh, if you want to read up a little bit more about the sort of technologies that you can use to create video but also the theory that sits behind it and finally if you'd like to get involved yourself the video for all team are looking for more practices to the app to the website so you can contact the video for all team share a practice and hopefully then your practice will be added to the collection so let's get straight in now and look at video for all so this is the video for all EU website you can see the uh, address there at the top one of the useful things is this button here called video practices because in fact you can click here and see a whole list of all of the practices that have so far been added to the site so that can be a quick way of looking for a practice that you want to work with so for imagine that you were looking for perhaps using video to give feedback then you could click on any of these examples and then read the suggestion look at the example and uh, you've got the video here and the PDF file here. So that's a useful way of finding content. If we just quickly go back to the home page, another way though is to make use of these boxes. And these boxes are trying to make it easy for you to find the content. I like these boxes here at the top, this idea that we either use video, that is that we use it as a kind of resource for a stimulus for the students in terms of getting them speaking, listening, reacting to, to video, perhaps using it for, for comprehension, etc. We sometimes make video so we get the students to create video and obviously through the process of creating video then they learn about or they learn the language and practice the language or communicate and we often use language to or video to communicate things for example if we're giving feedback to the students or if we're trying to explain a marking scheme or an activity that we want them to do so that's one way that you can find the content and there are also other ways as well through the for example European framework the levels there we've also got a kind of divide that works between primary, secondary and adult education. So lots of ways that the content's been divided. You simply click on one of the links, so let's look at make. It will open up a big collection of all the examples of making video and then you can scroll down, have a quick look at what you're interested in and then click on the, whichever link you're interested in, click on that particular link and you will um, immediately come to that video you can watch the video you obviously you can make the video full screen and you've got the PDF file here which provides you with additional information now you've also got a search box here when you come to the second page so if you want to work through themes let's imagine that you were looking at say reflection click on the reflection theme and again examples will come up of how video can be used to encourage our students to reflect so that's another way that you can search for the content you can also search here so if we wrote the word Word feedback in here and did a search then again it's going to bring up all the examples of feedback uh, relate uh, ideas that are, are video based that are in the repository so absolutely fantastic if you're looking for content very easy to find the content lots of different ways of searching searching through the themes searching through the boxes on the front page etc one of the sections that I really like is the resources section and if we go there we've got some useful guides to help teachers to use video in a language teaching context. Uh, for example we have video as a learning resource uh, 
and then best practice for creating educational videos so for example if we click on best practices for, for creating educational videos it opens up a page where we get a booklet and we can actually make that booklet full size as well so really useful uh, we can print it out we can download it and then of course we can work through and read it and the idea really is to provide the absolute minimum content in terms of working with video and this one kind of provides you with uh, a, a few things to think about when you are on, on a kind of technical level things that you might think about in terms of choice of videos uh, creative commons licenses etc 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 so there's one that deals more slightly more with the technical side and the other that deals slightly more from a, a kind of pedagogy uh, so those two booklets are really really useful and uh, well worth looking at another interesting part of the website is the repository and you've got uh, a list of for example academic books that are written about uh, video you've got a list of useful articles and uh, you'll see that uh, the articles have been referenced and then there's links to a full description of that article um, so that, that can be useful particularly if you're doing a piece of research into video and you're looking for articles around video or for example if you're going to write an article on video then you might find that very useful and those uh, repositories include examples of PhD theses uh, academic books etc so very useful uh, resource and, and particularly for those who want to know a little bit more that are looking not just to perhaps look at some of the practices that are available but also to read it into the sort of theory and research that's gone into video Finally, some of you might be interested in actually getting involved in the Video for All project and you can do that just by clicking on contact and contacting the Video for All team. I know for example that they're looking for more practices to add to the site. So if you've got a practice that you'd like to share that is an idea around using video that isn't already in the collection and you'd like to add one, then please contact the team and let them know um, and uh, you can see that you have an idea here. Um, you want to um, share your idea with the team and put it up online uh, make it part of the collection that's on video for all you can do that and you can also become an associate member if you want and I think if you look on the website you'll find that there is a list of associate partners and you can become an associate partner if you want and that's another thing that you can do and again contact the team if you're interested in doing that